What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Seti Said, and I'm here with making this impromptu video on how to install um, uh, the new Notepads plugin manager if you have a 64 bit system. Um, unfortunately, there's no real trick to doing this. It may work for you, it may not. There's no guarantee. Um, all I know is, uh, is it works for me. Uh, not everything works, but uh, enough of the bugs work uh, that I can use it. Maybe you can use it too. But I'm using uh, right now, this is the 64 bit version. If I take a look, about Notepad, see, this is the 64 bit version, 7.3. <coughs> And if we take a look at my system here, system properties, you'll see that I am using a 64 bit operating system. So, what we want to do is we have to get rid of the. Uh, let's uh, first let's get rid of the old version. Right here, and I'm going to go ahead and uninstall it. So it's out of my way. Click on uninstall. So if you install it, you have to uninstall it. You want it out of the way. Keep custom settings. Nope. It's complete. So that's gone. Close that. And unfortunately, this does not get rid of the files. It's right here. Get rid of that folder. And I get rid of the Roman folder and get rid of that one. Okay, so that's gone. And now, what you do is you go back to Notepad, download, and just download the 32 bit installer. Once you do that, which I've already did, and it's. You can, Go ahead and load it up. English. Next. I agree. And this time, instead of just a regular program folder, you see it's put in this folder here. That's fine. And I want to allow that. And we can go ahead. And now it's done. Open it back up, close that, and you can see now we're in the 32 bit version. So, and now in the 32 bit version, now you can see you got more plugins and the plugin manager. Show the plugin manager. There you have it. And the first thing you want to do is update the uh, plugin manager. Permission. It's been updated. Opens back up. And we can go back to the plugin manager. And next, I want to click on settings and then click on. That option there. You want to close it. And now you can go get the snippets plug in. But before you think that's it, there's still a little bit more you need to do. No, we don't want to restart it yet. But we do want to restart the program. And you see right here it says snippets unable to find. Database check our installation. Okay, so we have to check our installation. Got an error. So 
so you know well, the plugin is there so if you click on it you see nothing is happening I need to find a database so what you have to do is go to this link here and you want to uh, get this download here and it's this <clears throat> it's the file that didn't some for whatever reason did not download with the uh, plugin once you unzip it you'll get these two files here you want to copy both files control A control C then you want to go to the directory where they are located that's in notepad plugins and I can just drop them in here and once we do that we're all set go back to notepad close it reopen it and our snippets plug-in is working okay and that's how you do that so hopefully it works for you uh, if it doesn't um, Sorry about that, but um, all the plugins won't work. There are several plugins here. Um, you know, I like a couple of uh, a couple. There's a couple of good ones here, but I really want the uh, snippets. So now I can uh, close that, and if I want to just go to a quick HTML file. I got a quick start here, but that's the old way. But with these snippets. I don't know why that came up as change it to HTML. I don't want to do that. I can always come over here and right click and click add and I can add my own snippet. Before after the cursor if I just replace this and it just straps it in. And so this is how you can create your own snippets. All right, so hopefully this helps. If it helps you out, uh, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be on the lookout for my next series of video videos on. Um, I'll be teaching uh, tutorials on HTML5, which includes CSS, JavaScript, PHP works so thanks for watching again please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video peace